Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mitchie Games. Yeah, she's back again. I'm sorry. It, 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 I can't get rid of her. I'm sorry. I'm kind of like an STD thing. Oh, that was horrible. Anyways, oh, that was horrible. welcome to Overwatch. <laughs> that, 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 that's golden. I like oh, that. Oh, that was horrible. Um, this is an av- uh, adventure story game. Um, Called Firewatch. Yes. Uh, basically, it takes place in a Boulder, national- Colorado. Well, because we played the first five minutes and it glitched out on us, so. But I know this now. Yeah, you know this now because you didn't know about it five minutes ago. When it we takes record. place in a natural p- national park. You are kind of an alcoholic thing named, like, Henry or something. Uh, let's just, okay, let's not give any more details away. Details. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, really. If we're going to play the drunk, I'm going to do this to the T here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Maybe we could actually, like, pick the nice thing, you know. Pick the nice thing. Yeah. You know, the, hey, what's your, you know, major? What's your major? Yeah. You're a major. See, Boulder, Colorado. Yeah. 1975. That's, like, forever ago. I don't know. You, you see, see Julia. Julia. Click it. I'll click you. Well, you already have. Anyway, she's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Give me the mouse. Give me the mouse. Give me the mouse. You are drunk. Should we say, so, what's your, you know, major? Or, you, you're pretty. What do you think? Um, let's do this. So, what's your, you know... Major? Okay. You, you slur... <laughs> you slur the word major, and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, see, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool. <laughs> you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. Bird. Yeah, I'm a drunk. Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks her if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Fantastic. Hey, hey. there it works. Yeah. Press the right key to use object. Left. That's left. I know. I swear I know my left and right. I picked up a backpack. I thought that was a chair. Nope, that was a backpack. Oh, all right. So now you know where to go. It's left, left, L- right. Sorry, right. My character doesn't want to go forward for some reason. Hold on. Okay, okay there it goes. It's W A S D. For some reason, it wouldn't do the up key, but it will do W A S D. Excuse me. So which one of us is a drunk here? Um, you are. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get in. Oh, it is a backpack. Isn't Since it? I'm the last drunk person here, I will. Oh. Die. Please, I'm <laughs> such a far. Oh, you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. That's what she said. Ow. You, sorry. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Damn right. Julia, Julia wants, wants to get a shh. Julia wants to get a dog. Click it. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So you want a beagle named Bucket or a shepherd named Mayhem? Beagle. You want a beagle? I would like the beagle. But shepherds. She likes the beagle. Fine, we'll get the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. Aww. Yes. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Ooh, getting hot heavy already. Click it. 
Oh, by the way, this gets... Uh, okay, let's, let's keep going. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. So pretty good or one day why rush? Well, dear, that would be pretty good. In that case, we probably should get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably the best that their parents are hitch. You say she's absolutely right. I think we got these in the wrong order, but well, or close. We definitely did. If you would, you know, like, not talk. I know. <laughs> I'm kind of that? taking yeah. over your YouTube channel. Yeah, whatever. I have the equipment. I make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just kind of seeing if there's anything around here. I don't see anything, so. Let's there's grass. Doing. There's grass and, and dirt. And dirt. And a sign. Ooh, a sign. Yeah. Thoroughfare. I can't. You kind of cut it off. You keep, you keep cutting it off. Trailhead. Thoroughfare trailhead. Two Forks Regional Review. I don't think we actually have to read Do those. not forget to check in. You're in their country. No fireworks. Yep. Warning, Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. Okay, the we're done. Oh. <laughs> see, I, I always get that. cut off right before I finish. <laughs> and before we even hike there. Yep. It's a Thursday night. Hold on, it's 1980. 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her? Ignore her. Don't be a jerk. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Uh, you got you got a guy do stuff for me now. Yes. Well, you could have easily talked it over before you actually like went to sleep, like a sensible person. Y now their whole things. One of them's gonna drunk. die. One of them's gonna die. Ju not eighteen. Fuck words. Nineteen eighty one. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Do you pose and flex like He Man? Or frog like Victoria's Secret model. This is mine. He Man. Victoria's Secret. We're doing He Man. You look awesome. Damn right. Go. No. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Hiking the trails again. You know, this is probably. Well, this came out in 2016. It's probably got one of the best visual graphics. I mean, look at that sun. It looks very cartoony. Yeah, it, it does, but I mean, like, it's visually stunning, I think. Space Boink. bar. <laughs> Nineteen eighty-two. I got this. Nineteen eighty-two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. You enjoy your bucket, dear. What? You want to enjoy my beagle? You're weird. <laughs> There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mm. Click it. Yep, yeah, we're gonna click it. Bucket gets kicked. But Beba, fuck the d dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. All right, do I scare him away? Or do I beat his goddamn fucking face in? I think that one's obvious. Be his face in. Yep. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Interesting. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. So we kind of delay kids by about like four years. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. So do you convince her not to take the job or agree if she continues back and forth?
it's a good job, but that's 2,000 miles. But she could probably afford to travel. We don't know how often we'd see her, though. Da, da, da. I'll let you make this decision. Alright, let's flip this. Alright. Heads, tails. Okay. Call it. Heads. Tails. What do we <laughs> call it all? Well, what? Alright. He okay, heads, tails. So we, we she got can this. move back and forth. Okay. Yeah. Next time we need to actually commit to that before we. Like yeah. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. So we see her at least three times a semester. But that's like nothing. Yeah, it depends. It's like that's a like week. That's like six times like, a year. It's like three weeks. Six weeks a year. So it's a month-ish. That's very depressing. No, oh, sorry. 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. What do you think that's all about? I'm going to say brain tumor. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No, you need to talk about that shit. Yeah. That shit kind of goes like... After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret from now. For now. For now. For now. Yeah. They'll get more stuff later. Okay. There's the journal. This is really depressing. See? There's the He-Man thing. So some of the stuff, some of the choices we make do play into that. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. I don't mean to like shove you off your chair, but I'm You're shoving good. you off your chair. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julie who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere within 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. So you decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or are you determined to take care of her by yourself? I think it'd be best if she got moved into her own place. I mean, it's a really tough <coughs> choice, but she mm -hmm. could hurt yourself if you're not paying attention to her. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, if you try to take care of her by yourself, then you start running issues of taking a job and having the money necessary to take care of her. Mm -hmm. getting really depressing. And this is just the first episode. How many episodes are there? Well, depending on how many we record. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. It's prancing. With the deers. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. Mm -hmm. This is getting real. Like, you go <coughs> out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, 
If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. So Susan is Julia's sister. She's trying to be w very well intended with, you know, having you do stuff and not be so grumpy and moody. Mom Let's go. Ah, Months stop. <laughs> Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Okay, so now we're into the actual part of the game here. And we gotta get into the tower. <coughs> I'm guessing it's that giant tower right there. Yep. <laughs> the music makes it like really depressing. Oh yeah. Like, there, I can guarantee there will be some tears going on. Hold on, hold on. Before you actually go in, maybe there's something around. Maybe. Nope. You sure? Oh, oh, I found stuff, though. Propane tanks. Yeah. You could use some to I'm blow it up. To light my soul to its hold. Cause light it up, 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 light <laughs> it up, up, up. I'm on fire. All right, we gotta turn this place on. Oh, Ding. baby, yes, I like your wooden. Hello, oh. Two Forks Tower. Hi, Two Forks. Hi, oh, that's me. Shit. Okay. <laughs> hold left shift to activate radio. Test. Hello. Oh, you got it. Select dialogue. No, the up or down. So no, no, no. Like the spinny thing. There you go. Release left shift. Um, hello, did you ever get through? It's Delilah. Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Get it, huh? Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me. When people take this job to get away from something, so what's wrong? What's wrong with you? I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Can you take a stab at what's wrong with me? Fine. Then can I just sleep forever? Pick up the pine cone. Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, yep. Um, has she killed three ex-husbands? Oh, hold. Rebellion against mom or nobody back home can stand it. Okay. Three ex-husbands. Uh, you're probably I'm sorry. just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids. I got, th I got the shit. Uh, they had okay. divorced at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds your gears and you love it. Can I speak now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but <laughs> in my defense, I'm the one who put a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in your belly <laughs> in bed. It's me. I'm <laughs> going now. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Ta-da! Firewatch. Well, that escalated quickly. Yeah, this this game will have lots of escalating quickly situations in it. I was talking about the whole tree fetish. Oh, typewriter. Uh, 
It's a radio thing. Oh, you gotta pick up the radio. Okay. Let's shift. I'm holding it. Hey, sorry, just got sucked in. You gotta relaxing. What? Fourteen hours of sleep? Oof. I'm yeah. jealous. Jesus, this is so sick. Where is the other tower? Whoops. Don't worry about it. Gun hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's this thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? <laughs> okay, yeah, I see it. <laughs> this is the Osborne Firefinder, invention in 1914 <laughs> by W.B. Osborne? <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay, I guess we're going to have to do that. Shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just <laughs> make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll save it here, folks. Um Oh, but I'm having fun. I know, but we people can only watch so much video at a time. It's almost hitting 30 minutes, not counting the 7 that we screwed up the first time. So oh. All right. As always, guys, if you like to see the more great videos, please do subscribe today. If you like the video, please do slap a like on it. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Bam, that works. As always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play. Peace. Peace out. Oh, show Peace in the Middle East. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>